Okay, so here's some information about simple harmonic motion. And we're going to start by talking about a little bit of vocabulary, uh, period and frequency. Frequency is the number of vibrations or complete cycles that occur in a specific time. Um, it's measured in hertz. You'll hear one cycle per second because a hertz is one over a second. Period is the amount of time it takes for that object to complete one cycle. So these two things are related. They're actually inversely related where period is one over the frequency. And so simple harmonic motion is, is seen in springs, in pendulums. You can see it in vibrating guitar strings. So it's anything that's moving back and forth and coming back to its equilibrium place. So it is motion that can be described by Hooke's law. So it's going to have a displacement, move back to equilibrium, get displaced the equal amount again, and keep repeating. So another piece of vocabulary is the amplitude. And when we talk about the amplitude of a vibration or an oscillation, it is the size of the maximum displacement. And it's going to be equal on either side of the equilibrium point. And when you remember from springs, equilibrium is when the spring is fully relaxed. And it's related to the energy of the oscillation. It is independent of period and frequency. So it is just driven by, by the mass or how far, how much force is applied. It's measured in meters for springs and pendulums. And then looking a little deeper at period, it's the time it takes to make one oscillation. And it's related to the stiffness of the spring when you're talking about springs and it's going to depend on the mass. Period is in seconds. Mass is the amount of mass on the spring and it's gonna be in kilograms. And if you remember, K is the spring constant. And so if you think back to the idea of a, a guitar string being one of these things that has harmonic motion, you get the same note from the guitar, whether it is plucked lightly or help strongly, it just changes how loud it is. It doesn't change the frequency of the vibration. So another example of simple harmonic motion is a pendulum. And in this case, we need to kind of redefine the amplitude. And it's the distance that the pendulum bob is displaced from equilibrium. So equilibrium is when it's hanging straight down. And when you pull it over to the side, you've caused it to be displaced. And that's going to be the amplitude. And it is going to swing back and forth from maximum amplitude to its equilibrium and over to maximum amplitude on the other side and keep going. And the period for the pendulum is a lot like the spring. It's the time it takes for it to get one full swing in. So you could start at point A, it's going to go through equilibrium to point C, and then come all the way back to point A. So it's the swing from point A and returning to point A. For the pendulum, Interestingly, the period is not affected by the mass. So it's going to depend on the length of the string. When, when you're looking at the equation for the period, it is period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of the length over the acceleration due to gravity, where L is the length of the pendulum and G is the acceleration due to gravity. And this is a little, a little equation example of finding period in a pendulum. And the problem is what, is, what is the length of rope on a tire swing if a child completes five swings in 18 seconds? So the first thing we need to do is find out what the period is in seconds. So we know that they do, it takes 18 seconds to do five swings. And so you divide that by five and you get 3.6 seconds for each complete swing. And then we want to find the length by using the equation period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over G. You can rearrange that a little bit and plug in the period acceleration due to gravity. And divide both of those by 4 pi squared and you get 3.2 meters long for the string length. Alrighty, bye bye.